in healthcare, especially, we're having a health human resource crisis, uh, as well as in many other industries where people are resigning. They're thinking whether they want to continue working in that particular job. What do you think needs to be done right now? What is the role that visionary leaders need to play? Healthcare people, doctors, for instance, if you, uh, I do talk with doctors in the US, in the UK, in Russia, different countries. They have one common mistake. They believe that their medical knowledge is more is most important thing that they have. And they're betting on their knowledge. But if they would think differently, their aim or their vision or their purpose and role is to help people in need in a certain way. And their medical knowledge, for instance, in neurology or surgery, is a tool how to help these people. Don't, you see healthcare people or healthcare systems across all countries actually face that problem. They were lacking that tools instead of thinking, hey, are we good at providing our fundamental or core service, help people in need? That is a very different view because Otherwise, they are becoming into a position of taxi drivers. For you or me, having a license is only a tool how to drive a car, so it's more or less, but it's not the end of the world if we would lose it. It's not good, but okay, well, we could cope with that. But think of a taxi driver uh, whose driving license will be revoked. It's end of the day. It's end of the world for them. COVID showed us that we don't know something about that area and we immediately i wouldn't say gave up but we said ah, we don't have a capacity we don't have that you have a lot of capacities just only think that treating people is more important the idea of healthcare is it's just been so unappreciated and not really enough gratitude that actually burnout now certainly among physicians is the highest of all mm -hmm. professions and when you look at that and you know, burnout in nurses is also there. You know, well, non-well-being issues are very pervasive. So we need to ask ourselves, really, we need to have, collect more data, collect information. And here's what I think, you know, Kurt Lewin was the, the father of social psychology and a tremendous thinker. And Lewin would just say, gather the information in the field. I mean, if there's anything, we don't need more experts. We need to be listening to each other and say, what is hard about this? In a way, we probably need a pause and we need an analysis of all of this is where do we start and do we have a commitment? Maybe we need a summit on healthcare that we start gathering data and we come together. You know, we have technology for large system change. We have these concepts that are exciting, you know, open space where we get everyone involved, mm -hmm. everyone talking, we get all the data. We have these wonderful people like Otto Sharmer, listen to the mm -hmm. whole field, gather the old field, and let's see the data that is emerging. When we have this amount of chaos, it means that no one has the answer, but everyone together can create an answer. Pause, reflect, you know, the terms that now are very exciting in my world, have a reflective inquiry, gather the data, listen to each other, mm -hmm. maybe some homework come together in a month. What are we going to do with it? And then where do we want to start changing or making things happen? We have to kind of break mm -hmm. our mind, you know, whatever we're expecting. But I think to invite the conversation and leave space for people to talk to each other, like not designing it, we need people talking to each other and from them, we need to actually have a way of capturing where they're excited, what they're surprised at. And here's a question, what small thing from everything is possible? We're looking for big change. And sometimes we need to even look at the small changes that we can capture. And you know, healthcare leaders are innovators. They've always had a mission mm -hmm. to do something that really matters. So I think we need to give them more support. There's been such fatigue. That's what I'm so aware of. But how can we offer possibility? Or the other thing is the paradoxical, um, you know, theory of change. I think that it's so interesting to call attention to something that isn't working is not a death sentence. It's an opportunity to invite choice.
you know mm -hmm. okay this isn't working but what could be working you know there's a movement everywhere in the world now called diversity equity and inclusion very wonderful but diversity means hearing everyone equity giving 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 that airtime and really including you know radical thinking maybe there had to be you know the most radical thinker go away for a day come back and surprise us <laughs> We have to do that, you know, in 9-11, the disaster, may we never know from that again, that it was the CIA or it was a certain kind of division that invited science fiction writers for a meeting. And they said, what's the most radical thing that you can think of that we, we didn't shock us, that we weren't thinking? Mm -hmm. Because Thomas Friedman, he had a wonderful line for America. He said, uh, the real problem was not that we couldn't think, but that we had a crisis of imagination. And we have to imagine together what is it possible that we will need. The way I see this, having planned many budgets, spent lots of dollars in healthcare myself and seeing how we spend our dollars, regardless of what we invest in, technology, buildings, process improvement, if we don't have our people and our leaders in particular well-skilled to get the most out of our employees, nothing else will be impacted optimally mm -hmm. because it really comes back to the people. The technology and the buildings, they enable all of this to go on, but it always comes back to our people. Mm -hmm. I think more and more people are aware that investing in their leaders is one of the most important things they can do. People realize their people, their workforce, that's the area that they have to focus on. And leadership development is a really important aspect of that.